Yeah, y'all, it's Enzo Radio, man. We back. It's been a long week. It's Friday, 7 o'clock. You already know what it is, man. Enzo Radio. It's your boy, City of Guys, Philly. And it's your girl, Misha Lee, the truth. You already know. And it's Tini Yagani, the Persian. And we're in City of Guys on location again, bringing you another. Once again, shout out to them. Big shout out to City Blessings of Guys. We gotta get into this industry. It's a lot of bullshit. First of all, I need to shout out my girl Riri. I got her highlighter on right now. If you can see this golden glow coming from Rihanna, her trophy white, trophy white highlighter. Um, she actually did it really big. It's in Sephora. She launched it today. Um, she made it. 40 different shades to represent every skin tone. And I don't think any other cosmetic line has been. I haven't done that no. never. So shout out to her. Yeah, she let's clap it up for her. Big fucking moves. But we're going to talk about what happened with Nipsey Hussle. Yo, shout out to Nipsey Hussle. Big and shout you, Nipsey Hussle always going ham on niggas. He straight made a video, straight said it like, yeah, y'all radio station some whores. Not trying to play his song, fuck Diamond Trump or whatever it's called, but I just like that he shot it, went in on the niggas. Like, I started doing this radio shit because radio stations are phony as shit. You know, they'll talk shit about artists or don't show love to artists, but then when they come on, they kissing their ass. Prime example how they did my man Wale and That's they right. straight snapped on his ass, you feel me? So yeah, shout out to Nipsey Hussle for coming. Shout out to Nipsey Hussle for show, man. But you think it's like different now, because back in the day, the DJ kind of decided what was actually played on the radio. Now it's like the program. No, it's the industry. It's the industry. Yeah. industry. They decide everything. You know, right. it's all about the money. You know, they got the bigger bank, so they gonna have all their artists on there. They got the political status. They gonna go back and forth with the radio station to decide what's getting played and what's not. And I know one thing, that, that song been out for over a year, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it was already making headway going viral prior to the president stepping in there. But you know, we all know that he's in the office right now, so he gonna right. just dictate what's gonna be played and what's not. So right. I feel this is some frustration, but I'm gonna just ask him just to chill a little bit, bro. You don't even need that type of heat, man. Well, you know what, in, in my opinion, I think Nipsey Hussle pretty, I know this may be crazy, but I'm just hoping they don't kill him. He's so woke. Yeah. Like when I say this man is woke, he's woke. Yeah, and right, most, um, look at um, Prodigy. I'm sorry, they killed him. Do you think that was a conspiracy? Yeah, it it ain't no goddamn question. Something, it's something when it, you woke and you start putting shit out there and then you say, start going in. He was about to do like a play about the Illuminati. Yeah, he was ready to yeah. push it out there. And he had a show. He had a show on um, YouTube where it was like Illuminati talk or whatever. Right. He had Rick Ross on there. But you know, we're not even going to get into all that because we just know that something happened. It's, it's, it's out there. It could have possibly happened. So, you know. He don't want to be controversial. No, I'm all the way into that. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super woke. Bro. They don't like I'm woke motherfuckers, yeah, That's just like what it is. And like I feel it. like I watched Nipsey. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah. He woke as shit. So yeah, well, well, I, I, love, I love people speaking their mind. And him and Laura London are so cute. Yes, they are. She's talking that little yeah, baby. He so just cute. turned one. But look, shout out to Gucci, man, too. He um, terminated probation. And oh, on the 19th, right? 19th of yeah. September, it'll be completely dropped two years early. Shout out to him. He came home and really turned his life around. Lawyer got that bread and he doing right. You got to pay your lawyer. No, 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 no. Fuck the lawyer. Shout out to his soon to be wife, yes. Keisha. No, they got she married. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. they did. The but they, the wedding, so yeah, right. The wedding is coming. They broadcasting it on BET. Shout out to BET for giving that a deal. Yeah, um, yo, speaking of deals, y'all have about 50 cents though. Yeah, 40 we million. Have about 50 cents. 40 million dollars they offered oh. this man. Well, no, he took it. Stars offered him after he leaked the last, what, three episodes? That's right. Yeah. That's how, that's some shit showing what you were. You feel me? Like, don't play with me. Like, yeah, they definitely just threw that man wrecks on wrecks. Like, I didn't even know Stars had that much money. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Shout out to Stars, man, for looking out, man. And listen, man, he was counted out, man. 50 Cent was counted out back in the day, man, when he, he got popped. You know, everybody ran away from him. Now look at him. Mm -hmm. Changed his life, you know? He's still the bad guy. Yeah. Well, still man, the bad guy. He, he plays the bad guy very good. Because we don't That's personally it. know him. But he plays it very good. But at the end of the day, he does great business. And a lot of people still love, obviously love doing business with him. Yeah. yeah. But in my opinion, I don't think he really be acting a lot. Yo, I really, yo, he played Kanan too well. Um... <laughs> you no, know, it's TV, no. man. It's entertainment. He no, did, but he see, got... he did his job by him making you believe him. He did but think about job. it. He don't even got no fucking relationship with his real son. Like, yeah, no, but, no, but right. we, don't, we don't know the whole situation. Yeah, it's a lot they of said shit, that yeah. his baby's baby mother had a lot of different things in there, but. I like 50 Cent. I like 50 Cent. I think he's definitely a good businessman. He makes you happy. He's a good guy underneath it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm for him. I'm 
you know, she's rocking for me. Fendi, holla at my girl. <laughs> We gotta talk about Steve Harvey, okay? So now he's regretting meeting with Trump? Fuck got it. Stay over here. <laughs> the black delegation been gave you away, homie. You ain't coming back. Right. What? Like, what was the purpose of meeting with him? Like, what did you think you were gonna do in the first Listen, place? Probably right. get another of his many deals that he already got. It was all about the check, man. They checked no they they check checks and plus, he wanted um, Trump wanted to show good favor towards the so-called blacks. That's why he brought all the blacks around him that people normally like cater to. Yeah. And you know, don't listen. It's over. You did it, dog. Rock with him. We don't need you over here at the black delegation. <laughs> the black delegation. Yeah. We traded you off, man. We got Michael Rapaport. I don't know. Maybe he read the wrong card or something. Yeah. And I, yeah. I don't know. Found the wrong did. person. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> um, speaking of shade, <laughs> Meek Mill. Uh, <laughs> Yo, so, yeah, shout really, out to him, dog. I know you, you gotta have the 411 because you're Philly. Like, what saying, happened you know, on the about weekend? O'Malley? Yeah, 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 so yeah. O'Malley got shot in New Jersey over the weekend, you know what I'm saying? And he all right, he bounced back off of it. I Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off. But I got to show love to O'Malley and the Meek Mill squad, period. I know we, they be- What? No, I it's did. It's the hell I'm going to tell you why. Because I seen this man O'Malley shooting a video in the hospital. Okay. In the hospital, like he's fuck, fuck, he not gonna let that shit. Anybody that can't let obstacles stop them and just go ahead, ahead and use that shit to their advantage, mm -hmm. you gotta show them props. Yeah. You gotta show them props. Shout out to O'Malley, man. Jay Z actually brought out Meek Mill on. Um, yes, sir. I made the America tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to the Made America. But guess who had that shit was dope. Guess who had the best show at the Made America tour though? Your motherfucking girl Cardi B, man. Yeah, shout out to she love. had the biggest yeah. crowd response, yeah. love yeah. out of everybody. Jay yeah. had some love too. But she took a picture down. with Beyonce. And they yeah, yo, and she said and they that's took a why picture. Nicki released uh, it. But that song was already coming out. Yeah, and, 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 they they took, and they took a picture with her mom. She was popping shit. She was like, Beyonce, mama, just hug me. She was so funny. She's so sweet. She's She's Yeah, oh, she slays. Oh, and she and, she and, and, and oh, and, and, oh and, but, but what happened with, um, what's the girl from Queens of Comedy? Oh, all right, so yeah, we just gonna, we gonna jump yeah. right in to this tune up. Tune up, baby. Cause I'm tuning this bitch up. First of all, um, what's her name, Samoa, Samoa? I don't know, I don't even know what her name is, that, exactly. Um, she was on Queens of Comedy oh, for oh, all Oh, Samoa? Yes. Hey, man, come on, no, 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 Let us finish. All right, I'm listening, She man. really posted Carly B video up. And she said, damn, I got, let me get my phone one second, get my phone. Cause I gotta tell y'all a quote. I gotta tell y'all quote by quote what this woman said. Man, she, she said that shit like crazy. I like oh, this shit. Oh, she oh, said it right. Like and you may jump, and you may jump into this tuna. She said, <laughs> and I quote, so she posted her video as I said, and she said, just cause you busy don't mean you're winning. You better be reading your paperwork. What's wrong with that? What do you mean? She was throwing shade You're throwing shade right, 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 no, 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 no. And then Cardi B responded basically saying, I'm not winning because I took care of my family. I'm not winning because I got sold out shows. I'm not winning because used I used to be, to be a stripper, stripper and, and I'm on and they said that I wasn't everything they said I couldn't do, I'm doing. My thing is this, that was very unnecessary of her. You talk about better be winning your paperwork or whatever, like, I don't get it. Right, That's shade. No, That's let, me shade. Say, let me say something real quick, real quick. Listen, all right, it's all about perception of how you take things. You understand what I'm saying? She said, beware, be, um, you better beware of your paperwork and all that other business shit. No, but the way she said it, she just would have been like, I think she's dope. I just hope she's reading her paperwork. See, that's the, and that, that's, that's, that's how I took like, it, the way you said it. Listen, no. And then on top of that, this is my thing. Why are you using social media to do it? That's the lie. She don't know her. But it don't matter. But when she made um uh, it, Taraji don't know um right Cardi B no. neither, and she shot her out and showed her love. I'm gonna say that she she didn't say any hate. What was no, that? No, hate no, no, no. But when she made it, that is that, that she just you say cause just because you're busy. busy. Like okay, that's so, a little so shade. All right, now yeah, I feel you on that. I feel and yeah, I get where you're coming from on that. But I'm gonna say this to all artists out there: please do the due diligence when you get into the business because it's just more than just performing. And I understand that she's hot right now, so she would, I would hope, this, I'm, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. That's right? your problem. I'm, I gotta be biased. You can't be like, oh my God, no, 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 that's your problem. You always like trying to. Like, the benefit of the doubt because it's bigger than no, that. But no, but that, I understand what you're saying, but that sounds like that it was shade. And that's And on a woman's what? aspect, I know it was shade. What contracts is she reading? Cause when Thank the last time she Because what was the last show that you sold up, man? Maybe she so, made some mistakes yeah. and fucked her career up. But I'm gonna just say this. 
be, I'm not a female, so I can't take it the way my sisters are taking it. But I'm also say this: if you, like I said, do your due diligence, man. She's very popular now. Everybody using her for everything. We want to make sure that she capitalizes most right. than the gym. Than just I, the labels and anybody else. I think she's smart though. She held yeah. out. Um, a lot of people offered, actually offered her a deal. And they agreed for her. And she said, I had Love to wait. Love and hip hop wanted her back. She, she could have stayed on the Love and hip hop. Yeah, she could have stayed on Love and hip hop. She, she, got, she just right. got a big ass yeah. fucking Bentley truck. And she, I just seen it shopping for a roller her yesterday. Her album is actually she dropping good. in October. That's right. So even though she getting a whole bunch of hate from an oldie, Bugatti. Um, shout out to Carly B and keep doing your thing. Moving yeah, along. Sense. So the second person I want to tune up is Ray Lewis. Absolutely. Oh, Can I get another one? Oh, Ain't no goddamn I'm tagging, 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 my nigga. This nigga, I'm sick of you. First and foremost, I, I'm not a Ravens fan. What? Wait. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. That's, That's a whole other issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm just being honest. So I kind of gave you your little props because you was you were a good athlete, but you a cool ass nigga. You feel me, like for real, like you really is Samuel Jackson from um, Django hugging on to uh, my the man, master. the master. You feel me, like you want some real cool ass shit. All that little shit that you're doing in the media, and this is gonna piggyback on some more too. I feel like a lot of um, celebrities use other celebrities to rob their coatways and call them out yeah. and do all this crazy shit to get attention. Right. Prime example, Trick Daddy. Prime right. example, should right. we, like you, y'all just, y'all attack these new artists and these young artists for what? Another say, example, Joe niggas, Button. You feel me, Gloria the Beagles. Like, it's just so much uncalled hate that's going on out there and y'all just got chill. But the whole thing, he called Nessa, shout out to Nessa from Hot 97. He came at her and said, they didn't sign him because his girlfriend was saying racist statements. How is speaking against racism exactly. racist? How can you, like, first and foremost, fucking Ray Lewis, who's a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you killed that nigga out there in fucking Florida and you got away with it because the motherfucking, your boss is up there right, was though. trying to go to championship and mm -hmm. your man took the deal. He was and you shit on him. Oh. talking about it. Oh. and you shit it on him. Mm -hmm. Then your bitch ass was using drugs at the Super Bowl season. You was using fucking drugs, got caught. Niggas claim they whack that slate on your bitch right. ass. Oh, yeah. Y'all end up winning the championship when you're way out. You got the fucking nerve to shit on another so called black male and talk about his wife, this, his wife, that. Let's talk about all the shit your fucking wife can put up with, right. bitch. Right. I'm tired of you niggas. And you got like 20 niggas. kids, my nigga. Listen, right. I'm tired of you old ass <laughs> niggas coming for these kids, man. You had your shot. Get the fuck out the way and let the new niggas get on their grind. And if you're gonna offer something, offer some positive fucking insight on this shit, nigga. He need men like you, championship winning, uh, fucking Hall of Fame ass nigga. To rock with him. He wanna get his job back too, nigga. You oh. motherfucking niggas need to chill the fuck out for real. I'm sick of you niggas. Ray, I swear to God, I know you're gonna watch something like this one day. If it ain't coming from me, it's coming from somebody else. You niggas need to chill the fuck out, man. Y'all niggas gonna get worked up, tuned up every time we get, every chance we fucking get, man. You shitting on that man for what? Mind your business. This wife ain't got nothing to do with the game, nigga. She don't throw near, near not a pass in the fucking game or call her play. But, you bitch, man. But what she was saying was Wait, hold up. <laughs> My bro just went the fuck out. He's a bitch, man. We don't fuck with your kind of man. I tagged tag this on my room. You niggas up, you feel me? She passed the torch this week. Right, I had to pass the torch over to my bro, you feel me? All right, what's up, y'all? This your girl, Alicia Lee, and we're back in Team Radio, and we have our people from Hot Armor here. We have Stephanie and Malik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was making the left side of the heart increase. 
So when we got to about a year and a half of his life, we found out that he would potentially have to have heart surgery. And at this time, me and his dad, we were just blown away because we have been through so, so, so many appointments and it was just frustrating because you go through the feelings of, oh my goodness, you know, it's looking good, then it's not looking too good. And, you know, it, it was frustrating as a parent, a first time mom at that, you know, my firstborn. And, you know, it's just, it was really heartbreaking to say the least. So he had heart surgery July 15th of 2013 and he had to be out of daycare for about six weeks. I had to take off and he was in the hospital for a whole week. Um, he was in the ICU for about two days and then they moved him later onto the lower levels and he did really, really well. So that made me feel confident in the whole process because they were really surprised that him having heart surgery, open heart surgery that he would just he was up and running, like right. doing amazing things that a normal, a typical one and a half year old would be doing. And so that made me feel really, really good about the whole process. And he had, I should have said it, he, he had VSD, which is ventricle spectacle defect. And that's just basically the hole within the chambers of the heart. And as you all know, your heart beats, you beat and you hear it, but his was loud. And then with that hole, it made like his oxygen levels go up and down. So like, I remember one time he turned blue and I was like, why is my child turning blue and purple? So I had to take him to the emergency room and they were like, well, he has heart problems. So this is a, a number one cause of that. And with CHD, uh, it's the number one birth defect with children and babies. A lot of babies die, a lot of babies don't make it through their first year of life, and Malik is one of those miracles, you know? Um, and it's surprising that many adults don't know that they have congestional heart defects. I had a friend recently tell me that she just found out that she had a hole in her heart. And I'm like, you know, it's, it's, so, it's so weird to even think that an adult went through their whole entire lifespan not even knowing that they had this issue and may one day need heart surgery because if he didn't get heart surgery, if he played sports and someone hit him inappropriately, he would have, he could have, he could die. Right. You know, right. and that's why me and his dad, we both decided that he, we're not going to allow him to play like, you know, football and stuff like that. We'll just take it as it comes. Right. So then I remember I was sitting at my desk, um, you know how that is, you're working a job, you really don't want to work. <laughs> and <laughs> I said, God, I really want a bigger purpose in this world. I want to do something that is me and just makes me feel good on the inside and I swear like no lie out of this moment it was like boom a lightning bulb, a lightning bulb hit and That's it was like <laughs> you should do something in honor of your son something inspirational something to motivate other heart moms because I have met so many heart parents on this journey that I'm really blown away by the experience just by doing so <laughs> and with that it's I sat there and I said, God, you know, I want to do something meaningful. And I was like, well, I got to come up with a name. I was like, I need a bomb name. You developed this clothing line for kind of a purpose, kind of to represent your son. I mean, what has the response been so far? Like, have other moms come to you, like, thank you so much? Like, what do you think, what have people thought about the clothing line? Everyone has really been, like, on, on it. Um, a lot of people are like, this is something that we need because it, it sets you apart from other organizations that have, you know, hard warrior stuff. Because with me, I decided to create a superhero and, you know, make shirts that are really appealing, <laughs> just like this shirt, shirt, you know, <laughs> like have the logo within there and, you know, just showing like you can be strong, you can still overcome anything that you want to, regardless of what you're going through. Right. And I know you explained some of the challenges that he might face in the near future as far as playing sports and all of that, things like that. So you kind of answered that, but I wanted to add on, like a good friend of ours, Smash, that's some picture up there, he had a picture of a heart disease as well. Oh, wow. And then was using a dump, mm -hmm. but you know, it went untreated. He, he ended up losing his life behind that. So, you know, oh, wow. I suggest any, I would suggest any adult or child who don't, you know, haven't been diagnosed to get diagnosed. Yeah, and a lot of people, like I have to tell my own husband, like you need to go to the doctor, you need to check yourself yeah. out because even though you don't have it, you can potentially get, yeah, right. get it in the near future. So it's definitely one of those things that it's like 
heartbreaking if you don't know it like we did at the first Early. day. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can say I can really commend <laughs> Stephanie. I've known yeah. Stephanie for years. We were the like, best friends and I like that, but she just always been a cool individual. And just real way big. But she, I just see her family and how they just progressing. And I remember seeing that you, you know, had to have him have, have surgery. I was right. like, oh my God, that's so hard. <laughs> but y'all just always kept it trucking and y'all just always kept moving. Mm-hmm. And yeah. one thing I do want to know, like when you, when you found out she was pregnant with your daughter, because she does have two children. Um, <laughs> did, it, did it scare you or, you know, have you, you know, had a second thought? Yes, it did. Oh my gosh. I kept going to my doctor like, so what are we doing about making sure my second baby does not have heart problems? Because I was like, I really don't want to go through what I went through with my son. Like being a first time mom, that scared me mm-hmm. to the core. So to have my daughter, we actually went through, there is things that many pregnant women can do though. They can go and get an ultrasound done and they can look inside the baby's heart. I think you have to be, I think it was about six months when they did it and we found out she did not have heart problems. That's for sure. So it's sometimes, it's not every child will get the heart issues if it runs in the family. So for like, for me, I found out it's not even in my family. So it's on his dad's side. And okay. I later found out my husband actually had a heart murmur. Oh, so okay. we were like, okay, so that's where it comes okay. from. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask, is it yeah. like a hereditary thing or just? It is. I know what his, his cardiologist said it's very hereditary and he definitely got it from his dad. His dad had to act, he didn't have heart surgery, but he had to have a pacemaker on his heart okay. when he was a baby. So also, Stephanie is not just <laughs> the creator of this apparel. She also has her own YouTube channel. She's a single mom like myself, working hard and just always progressing through and pushing through life. So let them know where they can find you on YouTube. Let them know where they can get this, these nice, cool <laughs> shirts. <laughs> let them know, you know, they can, where you at, where they can find you at. Yeah, you can find me on jo- IG, like right here. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, over here. <laughs> and you can find um, the t-shirts on teespring.com slash stores, another slash heart hyphenated armor. Um, I'm using one of a, people, some people, they like to say, well, why are you using um, like a regular, not using your own domain? And some people don't under, understand the, the world of business. Yeah, like levels to this. when you invest, you have to invest properly. And like with Teespring, they ship everything out for me. So it's not like I have to do the hard work of that. Like I come up with the design. So I am the creator. I am in control of it. So right. you can definitely go on there and I do. I always do promotions with um, discounts and stuff because it's not about the money to me. So for me, it's it's just not. I'm just yeah. trying to have a good time and make sure you know it's bring it's making us happy because we still have ongoing issues that we right. still fight to this day with them. Um, I want to. You know, it, you know what's so crazy about the business world? People act like they don't want to come together you know, and help you right. out. Yeah. So, you know, like I can go on social media all day long and try to get folks to support my brand, but if they don't want to, right. you know, I just have to keep moving and doing my own thing. But I do have a lot planned for us. Like I want to do races, you know, to promote healthy living because that's what it's all about, having a healthy heart right. and, you know, getting other organizations together, you know, just coming together as the community, you know, and bringing awareness to just being fit all around. Right. Right. Well, I'm going to put this out there. City of God, man, we'd be love to have you come through here. And you come through here. <laughs> right. I'm yeah, just sure. You. You you know know it's it's been been we got a lot of things you coming up. We all come together and we sit down and talk about how you want to do it. You're welcome anytime to come. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So I want to thank Stephanie and Hall yeah. Armour and Malik so cute. Malik so cute. I swear. Yeah. Moving these hands. <laughs> you got anything to say, Malik? Yeah, anything to say. You know you love YouTube. I know you miss another year. Oh, no. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we say thank you. <laughs> so is well, you like a celebrity in school? Sorry. Is it, are you a celebrity in school, Malik? They love you in school, y'all? You just finished your first week and you're uh, uh, you know, in the new year. So, what grade are you in? Uh, Kindergarten. Uh, <laughs> All the little girls. I'm about to say, you better oh, get ready. Oh, you better get ready because them little girls are going that boy. One little girl got so mad he didn't say hot bye to her. I was like, oh my God, say bye to the little girl, please. <laughs> so, 
Thank you for having me, man. Intune Radio. Hard on the came to the stop through the building. We want to thank you for coming through, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. It's Intune Radio. Listen right now, because this is Cody's new single. What's the name of the new single? Man, this new song is called Digital by Sunny Digital. How many of you in, independent niggas got a Sunny Digital track? All right, anyway. <laughs> this tune coming up for the end of the week. This is Digital coming in. Y'all stay tuned to Zip Tune Radio. We'll be back with Cody Ferguson. I'm digital, I'm digital, I'm digital, I'm digital, I'm digital, yeah, I'm digital, I'm digital, yeah, I'm digital. Papa saying nigga digital, but check it was digital, yeah, I'm digital, I'm digital, digital, yeah, digital, yeah. Papa saying nigga digital, but check it was digital. The beat on fire cause it's digital. Jump too live, I'm digital, 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 I'm digital, yeah, I'm digital, yeah, I'm digital, I'm digital, yeah, I'm digital. Yeah. yeah, the boy need a hundred miller. Too cold, name a n- chiller. Red jacket with the zippers. N- call it my Jack Filler. Uh, Cody Frank be killer. Yeah, Mr. Bad Bad Getter. What? Mr. Get it, stack it, flip it. Uh, you lame. N- get that picture. Uh, I'm HD on the vision. Uh, me and Kalina on Smash. Woo! Call it Highway Collision. Yeah, I'm blowing gas, no permission. Woo! A hundred mil be the mission. Uh, I preach the gospel like a scripture. Yeah, it's funny music on you. Hey, ain't got no love for you snitches. Uh, Sunny went way digital. So when I had to rip it, woo, I keep it cool in my minutes. Yeah, you capping and you fishing. Uh, deep my pockets for the sinkage. Yeah, I tried to tell him I'ma get it. Uh, but these niggas didn't listen. Yeah, so I'm flexing on you. On digital, on digital, on digital, on digital, on digital. Yeah, on digital, on digital. Yeah, on digital. Papa Zan nigga digital. But check it was digital. Yeah, on digital, on digital, digital. Yeah, digital. Yeah. Papa Zan nigga digital. But check it was digital. The beat on fire 'cause it's digital. Come too live, I'm digital, digital, digital. On digital. Yeah, on digital. Yeah, on digital. On digital. Yeah, on digital. Digital. Yeah. I'm in that track of formation. Don't say shit. Uh, Going by my information. The CV I'm in that spaceship. The fly is a rocket, yeah, bitch in the pocket. I the game like a hit stick. Uh, Cody Cohen is. Don't give a f- how you feel about it. Couple n- that I catch your body. Uh, what the f- then I said it shot you. Uh, Hitting your hustle, you're trying to block it. Uh, Taking shots like a paparazzi. Yeah. Young with a bad bitch like side with these, and I just keep it rolling. No breaks, I just keep it going. Strike a mold like a n- boy. River Bank, I just keep it flowing. Hitting, I ain't even noticed. Good green, that shit keep it focused. Don't f with it if it ain't poking. 24 and I stand tall, just a young from the west side. Play with me, then it's nap time. I preach the gospel, come get baptized. I, I, I preach the gospel, come get baptized. I preach the gospel, come get baptized. Papa Zan, nigga, digital. But check it was digital, yeah, on digital, on digital, digital, yeah, digital, yeah.